Okay. <clears throat> All right, so Dave Langsather here, and uh, talking about the Fuller's Earth ground formula. So I have two uh, violin bodies, and they both have a acoustical reflect reflect back. Uh, they're basically identical. So this is uh, Opus 27. And uh, this is one, everything's done the same on both of these except for the Fuller's Earth layer. So this is Opus 27 without the Fuller's Earth. And this is the body with Fuller's Earth. Okay, they're both tuned exactly the same frequency, F and G. So this is the back. And this is the Opus 28. Okay. And here I'm going to zoom in on this file. As this has been recorded earlier. I'll zoom in here. Okay. So hopefully this will be uh, instructive. So this is the uh, sound editor program by NCH. And this is the um, recording. This is Opus 28, 27, I'm sorry, Opus 27, the one without Fuller's Earth. And this is the Opus 28 body with Fuller's Earth. So it's top, back, top, back. So, just to show you. And the back plate. So this is... Okay. Without the Fuller's Earth. Yeah. With Fuller's Earth. Okay. Now this is the uh, back without. With. show you how you'd see what it looks like. Um, so you pick out the tip and you go to tools and you go to FFT uh, analysis. Okay, we'll make that big. So the um, this is in a um, we call logarithmic scale, so this is 0 to 1,000 hertz. And uh, the middle C is like 263, something like that. And this is from 1,000 to 2,000, 2,000 to 3,000, 3,000 to 4,000. So with the top plate of Opus 27, untreated, looks like this. Okay. Now we're going to over here and do the same thing for the uh, violin body that has been treated and you see it's a steadier this is to a thousand two thousand three thousand and the literature says a sharp drop off after 2300 which would be about here and so the emphasis again is on the lower frequencies and then a steady drop off and it's quite low in this upper range. Okay. So I'm going to go back here. This is the Opus 27 un, without the Fuller's Earth, and this is the back plate. And I'll feature that. Tools. FFT analysis. Highlight it. Okay, so this is the back plate untreated. So it's dropping off fairly steadily, and then this is quite low. Now we'll pick out the treated with Fuller's Earth. Highlighted. Alright, so this is the strongest area up to 1000 and it drops off and it's quite low by the mid range. Now, 
I went through these charts and uh, summarized the mid frequencies and what the this is the uh, decibel level here. This is on a minus scale. So, for instance, if we wanted to see what this was, and I said that was average. Look over here and see that is minus 23 at 559 hertz. So, each one. Uh, so to go from minus 19, we'll say, to minus 20, is twice as loud. So a slight change here to go from 23 to 29, that's a difference of uh, 6. That would be 6 times. So the, the loudness drops off very quick as the decibel numbers change, but our ears are much more sensitive to high frequency sounds. So our ears can hear these much easier with much less volume than it uh, takes to hear these lower pitch tones. And that's why we want these to drop off in the high frequency range. So here's just kind of a little summary. Uh, so in the zero to a thousand range, the untreated top has a 20 foot minus 25 decibels and the treated is minus 26 decibels. In the 1000 to 2000 range average it's minus 49 and minus 49 they're the same. But we get in this 2 to 3000 range and the untreated is minus 59 but on the with the fuller's earth it's minus 63 a difference of 4 which is 4 times quieter in that range. And then in the 3 to 4000 range untreated the top plate is six, minus 61 and the treated top plate is minus 69 and so that's a de minus it's eight decibels difference so eight times quieter so uh, something similar happens with the back plate they're about the same in this range and they're uh, uh, similar in this range but by the time we get to the two to three it goes from minus 62 down to minus 67 five times quieter and then after that they're both quiet in the three to four thousand range of minus 71. Okay so I'd say that's the um, acoustical justification that the uh, Fuller's Earth seems to make a positive difference. And I'll just tap these one more time. So dampening the string now without Fuller's Earth with Fuller's Earth. And for the top plate, I'll tap here on the side to <coughs> avoid the strings. And yet, the bass tone, the low part of the note, is the same. So it should make quite a significant difference in the sound. And <coughs> hopefully we'll get this finished here very shortly and uh, get a real comparison when playing music. So. Anyway, it's sort of an early experimental <clears throat> stage, and uh, hope you enjoyed the experiment. Okay, thank you.